and welcome to chapter 4 part 5. In the previous part we learned about t-tests and now we are going to work on an example. t-test is a statistical test you to test the hypothesis that the true value of the parameter is equal to zero. All right. So we learned about t-ratios. Right? T-ratio is the coefficient estimate divided by the standard error of the coefficient estimate. Then we will grab this t statistic t ratio and take its absolute value t ratio yeah t statistic is a numerical value all right then we will go to the t critical value from the t table right we learned about t tables two tails degrees of freedom 10 5 and 1 percent so if you want to find T critical value for one percent level of significance, one percent significance, and n minus k number of observations was seven minus two five, right? Five degrees of freedom df. So you are looking for t critical value of four point zero three two for one percent, zero point zero one. For 5% is 2.57. For 10% statistical significance, it is 2.015. Okay, here's an example. So for t, uh, for this specific example that we have been working on, it's advertising. Remember this example we worked on. So it was the regression of sales on advertisement spending right so this is beta head is this and my standard error of the beta head is going to be 1.23 right so 4.97 divided by 1.23 if we go back to our slides okay so what we get is a t statistic t ratio is the formula t statistic is going to be the number 4.01 we are going to put this in absolute value. It's going to be itself, right? 4.04. .04. And next step is going to be, okay, the next step is going to be looking at the T table, degrees of freedom, number of observations, minus A, B, two parameters to be estimated, five. And then 10% significance. We're going to look at 10% significance, five degrees of freedom. Critical value is 2.015. How did we find it? Again, going back to the table, two tails, you gotta do two tails, ignore one tail. 5% significance, right? Uh, for instance, five degrees of freedom, 2.571. 10% significance, 2.015. 1% significance, 4.032. So, T statistic in absolute value is 4.04 .04, which exceeds this critical value 2.014 so you can say that with 10 percent level of significance or 90 percent confidence the same thing beta 4.97 is statistically significant or statistically different from zero excellent right next we're going to test at the five percent level let's do this test so 5% significance, 5 degrees of freedom, take critical value from the previous table here. And that is going to exceed T statistic and absolute value exceeds the T critical value we read from table. You can say that with 5% level of significance or 95% confidence, beta ed is statistically significant and statistically different from zero. Again, Let's check to see if it's significant at 1% level. T critical value is 4.032, which is, okay, so T statistic is 4.04, .04, greater than it exceeds the T critical value. You can say with 1% level of significance, or you say statistically significant at 1% level, right, that beta head is statistically different from zero. So all these numbers are already in Excel printed out standard error t stat and next we'll learn about p values to rapidly actually see the level of statistical significance 